morning kids i'm sorry if this all looks a bit weird i'm having to record it on my phone because my ipad's gone a bit weird um i'll let you into a secret i've heard that there are sneaky adults watching your devotional i hope they're learning stuff anyway we are reading pretty poison today and um, our reading is john 8 44 and it says there is no truth in the devil when he tells a lie he shows what he's really like because he is a liar and the father of lies. So with its bright um, orange and black wings, the monarch butterfly is so pretty and so poisonous. Well, at least for birds and lizards looking to make a meal of it. Adult monarchs lay their eggs on the poisonous milkweed. The eggs hatch into caterpillars which eat the plant. But instead of killing the caterpillars, the poison becomes part of their body even when they transform into butterflies. So any bird looking for a quick and colourful snack gets a nasty surprise. The poison doesn't kill the bird, but it does make it sick. Because monarchs are so easy to recognise, birds quickly learn not to eat them, clever birds. Monarchs aren't the only pretty things that turn out to be poisonous. Sin can be pretty poisonous too. That's because Satan likes to dress up sin up in pretty colours to try and trick you into giving it a try. For example, Satan might disguise a lie as an easy way to get what you want. Or he'll try to make breaking a rule look like just having fun with your friends. Or he'll try to make a bad movie look like it will make you laugh. He might even make drugs look like a way to fit in. But lies lead to more lies. And breaking rules leads to broken friendships. That movie that looks funny can plant yucky words and thoughts in your head. And drugs, they can tear your whole life apart. So before you try that pretty thing that looks so good, talk to God about it. Ask him to show you if it's really poison in disguise. Our prayer today, dear God, teach me to see things as they really are and not to be tricked by Satan's poisons in disguise, in Jesus' name. It's so important, actually. Some things look like they're harmless, look like it doesn't really matter. It's not a big lie, or it's not some, I'm not breaking the law, it's just a, a silly rule. But actually, the more we do that, the more we'll do other things as well. And like they say, these things lead to broken friendships, they get you into trouble, bad movies put horrible things in your head. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So ask God beforehand, just even a quick simple prayer, Lord, should I do this? And see how the how you feel. Do you feel like, mm, I don't I really don't think I should do that? Then if you feel that, stop. I think we're all old enough now to know the difference between right and wrong, but Jesus is there to give us the help and strength to do the right thing. So our how great is, hands down the deadliest creature on land or sea is the sea wasp jellyfish. Never heard of it. Its body can grow to the size of a basketball, but its tentacles are 10 to 15 feet long. And there are 60 of them, oh yuck. Each one is covered with stinging cells. The sea wasps simply swim along, waiting for prey to get trapped in their tentacles. If a person were to get tangled in those tentacles, they could die in just four minutes. I'm glad they're not in our seas, that would be awful. Wow. Yeah, I don't like those. Anyway, I hope you have a really lovely day and our oh, tomorrow's one looks really good. I'll tell you the title over the rainbow mountains. Okay, have a great day. Bye.